Hey guys, what is up? All right, so today I'm gonna be unboxing my first Ibanez Prestige guitar, and I'm like super excited because I've never owned one of these guitars in my life. I've dreamed of them forever, and I have it sitting right over here in this box. I never even played one before, but I went ahead and bought one. Uh, but anyway, I hope you're all having a wonderful holiday. Um, I think I'm about to have probably one of the best holidays I've had in a long time for me personally. I usually don't ever have the opportunity to buy new gear for the studio. And uh, this Christmas, Kelly got me a new gift. And I can hardly contain my excitement because it's something I've wanted my entire life. I actually have uh, my favorite guitar in the entire world is at my local music store. It just got repaired. It had some electronic issues going on. I didn't really know how to do it myself. So I just took it to my local music store because I love those guys. And then I can compare my favorite guitar versus my new guitar, which may end up being my new favorite guitar. I don't know, we're gonna find out as time goes on. But uh, anyway, enough of me rambling. I uh, hope you guys are all having a fantastic holiday and I hope you all got the, all the gifts you wanted and I hope you got to see all your loved ones open all the gifts you gave them because that's like kind of the best part of Christmas. You know, it's like, I don't know, the older I get, the more I care about that, you know, kind of sentimental stuff or whatever. But anyway, without further ado, I will stop rambling and stop being an old man dad for just five minutes here. So I am super excited. I cannot wait to unbox it. So instead of talking about it, we're just gonna get right into it and uh, we're gonna rip this baby open and see what it looks like. Alrighty guys, the time is here. I don't remember what I was gonna say, but I'm really excited. Like, I, I, I kind of can't believe this. Like, this is crazy. Woo! Y'all ready for this? Oh. Whoop, my bad. This is crazy, bro. Like, this... God dang, man. I should have bought one of these, like, years ago. I don't know why I never did. I don't know why I never bought one of these. Oh my gosh, bro. I know it's just a guitar case, and only guitar nerds will understand this feeling. But, you know, having an instrument that you've always dreamed of owning, dude, just do it. You deserve it. Do it for yourself. You owe it to yourself. If you work hard, definitely owe it to yourself. You deserve it. So, uh, maybe that's just what I'm telling myself to justify spending the amount of money that we spent. This is something I really love to do. I want to do it till the day I die, so ain't nothing wrong with that. Matter of fact, there's something wrong with not doing it sooner. All right, guys. Whoo! A moment we've all been waiting for. Oh! No! Bro, look at this. I'm in the light. I can't, you can't see it because I'm blocking everything. Oh. So what do we got here? Guess we got some uh, paperwork here. Ibanez limited warranty. All right. We got the manual in Japanese, baby. Built in Japan. All right. Let's open this up real quick. Oh, I love that texture, man. That's gonna keep your instrument nice and protected and in good condition. Oh my gosh, bro. I've been as multi-tool, never owned one of these. Got the whammy bar, push-in whammy bar, dude. Oh man, here, hold on, I'm getting a bad shot. Multi-tool, whammy bar. Oh, you guys don't even understand. A little sticker thingy here, a little inspection sticker. All right, let's get this baby out. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. Look at this thing. So far, it is everything. Oh, my gosh. I hoped it would be. Oh, it smells good, bro.
we now have Excalibur. All right, guys, so here it is. Here is the new Ibanez AZ2402 Prestige. I need to take this tag off. I'm gonna take that off. All right, so here we go. Um, you're just gonna hear the audio just come right from my speakers. You'll probably hear my uh, actual guitar a little bit too. But let's just hear what it sounds like on a, just a plain clean tone. <laughs> Dude, it sounds sweet. It sounds like everything resonates. It almost sounded like I had reverb on, and I didn't even have any reverb on. Not weird. So, these switches, so you've probably already looked at these specs, and I'll put the specs on the screen, but these switches, we have uh, 10 different like pickup um, options to choose from. So we've got a five-way switch, and we have an alter switch that, you know, does power tapping, that's what IMS calls it, on uh, the different pickups. So let's check out what those tones sound like. All right, so if we stay in that position and hit the alter switch, let's see what happens. So if we, we go from two, wow. So everything and all the clean channels sound great, but we could definitely gotta try this on a high gain setting, and we're definitely gonna have to tune it down to drop D at some point. All right, I'm just on a basic gain setting. I'm not even gonna mess with any of the settings. I'm just gonna see what the guitar does. Dude, it sounds sick. That's the, oh, that's the telltale sign if you know a guitar is worth it. And if you can hit those pinch harmonics like that. So needless to say, I am incredibly satisfied with this instrument. This is uh, probably going to be my favorite guitar of all time. Um, it's very possible that it st steals the thunder from, from my purple Ibanez RV470s. I love that guitar. So uh, interesting little story here. The main reason I gravitated towards this particular model 
and an Ibanez brand, as opposed to like a Music Man or even like an Ibanez RG or a Schechter or Jackson or you know whatever, um, was because it actually really reminds me of my purple RV470. For some reason, just the uh, the shape and everything, and just like I don't know, just really, it's really similar to that guitar in my opinion. It doesn't feel like uh, like an RG or the or an S series. You know what I mean? Like those are their own thing entirely. And I like those too, but I just I just really wanted to try to find something like my RV470, or I was gonna try to find like a used one on eBay or Reverb or something. But they're just really hard to come by. So ended up stumbling stumbling upon the newer uh, AZ series from Ibanez and fell in love, absolutely in love. Like again, it reminds me of my Ibanez RV 470 that I'm so used to. So, you know, I like that a lot. Yeah, so this is it. Um, I love it, I think it's great. And if you have an instrument that you really want, dude, you owe it to yourself to go get it. Just go get it, you're gonna love it. I love this thing already. I can't wait to just play it for the next I don't even know how many hours. I just don't even want to put it down. It just feels really good. And it, everything just sounds crystal clear, well balanced. It was definitely worth it, you know? I'm really happy I got it. Well, I think that pretty much wraps up the video. I don't have anything else to say other than I love this guitar. Also, if you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments below. Um, no, but... Right on, I'll be up in just a minute. Thank you. Hit all the buttons that you're supposed to hit, the like and the subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, leave me a comment. Till next time, guys. That sucked.